It's a speedy way to make a shish kebab. Just marinate, skewer, and cook. And one part of the U.S. serves it up in a sandwich. It's a tasty treat of marinated meat, charbroiled and fed on a slice of Italian bread. That's a speedy. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, round two, fight. Same subscriber coming out of NY that requested the garbage plate that put me on game. It's put me on another game, Chicken Speedy. I've never heard of it. It's a very simple marinated chicken, almost kind of sub bun hot dog roll thing. So anyways, we need to make a marinade out of chick with chicken. Yep. <laughs> so first things first, marinade base, we need oil. I'm going canola, you can do whatever you want. Maybe olive oil, up to you. I just like canola oil, we know this by now. White wine vinegar as a little tart source. Could use red wine if you want, or whatever. It's your marinade, but traditionally, something like this, more so red wine. <laughs> All right, crushed garlic, of course. We needed a very garlicky, this one. We got that dried oregano teaspoon maybe and we got dry basil teaspoon probably something spicy a little bit of cayenne going in the mix of course we do a pinch of salt we got fresh cracked pep we've got fresh lemon squeeze catch them seeds you know what I mean Last but not least, actually I should say it's supposed to probably have mint in it, but uh, sorry brother, my local yokel little mart here did not have mint on hand and I could not find a chutney in a jar. So we're just doing this today. Now, once that's happening, we come in with a whisking and emulsifying, a blending of the marinade. Done and done. Okay, chicken breast cubed up, going in. Mix her up, submerge. We cover this, fridge, 24 hours. All right, y'all know why I'm a saucy guy. I want a little bit of a on the fly aioli for this. So we're gonna do mayo, sour cream, a little bit of this Hidden Valley Ranch mix, why not? We got more crushed garlic. We're gonna do a little horseradish splash, a couple dry chives, why not? A little bit of fresh chopped parsley. Of course, a little spritz of fresh, oh, there's a seed there, of lemon juice, just to brighten things up. And then a mini whisk and a whip. All right, so this chicken has now been marinating for something like 36 hours, it's been a while. So go ahead and skewer these up just like so. All right, our pan is on at a nice little mid-high here. Let me go ahead and brush on a little extra. Make sure we got all the flavor. All right, we're looking for gold. Hey, gold achieved, there you go. I love gold. <laughs> okay, so for the speedy, the humble sausage roll, that's usually what it's kind of made with, like a hot dog bun. Got a bit of our aioli inside as a fat source for the toast. So while those are toasting, I'm tossing. I want to try one of these very plain and traditional, and I want one with just a little sort of a pickled arugula onion salad. So arugula in, pickled onion in. Touch of oil, a little more pepper. Just a little salad topper. Ooh, almost perfect. All right, buns are off, beautifully toasty. Now here comes the finesse. This is how it's done apparently. Is you flip, grip, and rip the skewer out. And what you're left with is a very simple yet flavorful, delicious sando. Okay, this one I'm gonna try just like this, that works. And then we're gonna come in with our greens and onions. Little rendition. Bring them up to the plate. Step right up to the plate. There we go. 
two nice, soft, warm, simple chicken speedies. A shout out to Anonymous from New York once again. Let's eat. These almost just fell apart and I almost had to make a speedy recovery. <laughs> Such an idiot. But yo, what's up, what's good with y'all? Another uh, one coming in from the same person who did the garbage plate, who requested me the garbage plate. Gave me an option of four different sort of local ideas and things that I've never tried. He asked me to pick the one that most resonates weirdly before I even researched them. When I looked at Chicken Speedy, I was like, I think that's the one I'm gonna want. And sure enough, it was the one that resonated. Now, I think it's kind of like a, like a street food, maybe basically, like a very simple on the go, highly delicious, like highly flavorful, yet completely like pedestrian, just grab and go, not too complicated type food. Uh, simple sandwich is what you might say. I love simple sandwiches. Toasted tomatoes are my favorite. So I'm very excited for this. I'm gonna try it just plain straight up first, and then I'm gonna probably dip in some aioli. Oh man. Just the brightness of the marinade. Mm. That's awesome. You got the herbs and spices, you got the garlic but that marinade sets in with all that acid. Tripping on acid and becomes just like beautiful kick in the mouth, honestly. Okay, I did make up an aioli though, so you'll know I'm a dipper of aiolis. I love it with the sauce. It's very like souvlaki esque, right? Just very Greek, Greek town to me. Reminds me of Greek fest on the Danforth. A very simple, humble, flavorful handheld. Let's get rid of this. Bring you around, bring you around town and see what the pickled shallots and uh, arugula have to offer. Now having tasted the initial bite with how bright it is. I think the pickling aspect might be a little too much. actually balances in pretty well. The arugula actually makes it amazing. Mm. My intuition was a good pick.
I'm a big, big fan of street foods. And meat on sticks. The meat just always tastes better off a stick. And that lengthy marinade keeps them ten very tender. Perfect size of a, of just something to eat too. Perfect lunch. still be able to go about your day and not just be gutted. <laughs> I hate feeling gutted after I eat and trying to do stuff. <sighs> and as always, get your H2O in there. <laughs> May as well finger bang this last little bit of salad. Where'd I go? Even that alone is just such a simple, beautiful taste. Okay, I'll tell to you again, my brother. Thanks for putting me on game to another thing that is, you know, I didn't really know it was a thing, but I mean, it's reminiscent of other things that are things. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right, till the next one. You know what to do. You can live well. Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.